custom car enthusiasts, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So in the last episode, I went ahead and picked up this truck to work on next before we ended the episode, because I really wanted to do a truck. I haven't done one yet, so I figured like it was a good one. Uh, find and fix running gear problems. So we have running gear issues. Knocking sound from the suspension, sloppy car steering, loud when accelerating. Alright, so this particular car, we can actually take to the test path, I think. To begin with, which is amazing. We haven't been able to do that in a while with a car. So let's go ahead and see what falls off here. Fairly nice interior. It is definitely loud though for a car. Or for a truck, in, for that matter. Alright, brakes are not bad. Oh, the suspension though is... Shock absorber, bushing, upper suspension arm, bushing, bushing, wishbone, shock absorber, and leaf spring. So we've got some decent parts to replace there. Still haven't found everything. Uh, I sort of want to get it up in the air and see about this noise before we take it out to the track. Because I'd like to make it sound a little bit nicer when we have it out on the track. So let's see if it's just a simple case of a muffler issue. Alright, the muffler actually looks pretty good. Well, let's see here. That's definitely the muffler issue right there. Alright. Really wish it hadn't sent me that far back and stuff. That was sort of annoying. Alright, that's not a problem. And that's not a problem. Uh, let's see. So that part needs to come out middle part of the exhaust here. For that front section. Then let's go ahead and lower it down as well. Because I have a feeling the headers might be shot as well. Yeah, because that only got part of it there, so let's see inside. Nice looking engine. Oh yeah, the headers are definitely shot. No, that one's alright. So it's just the one header here, and that'll probably show here. Yep. Alright. Exhaust Manifold V8 OHV G. So let's go ahead and look for that. There we go. Need one of those. And then let's see about the other part here. Let's sort by name. That'll replace that. And then we need front of the DVDAW section V8OHVL. Alright. Front exhaust. Section V8 OHBL. There we go. 
Alright, so we got that piece. So let's go ahead and mount this piece. And we have to go under the car for that piece. Really just shoots me out so far there. How about if I just look in this area? There we go. How hard was that? Seriously. Alright, so we've taken care of the exhaust now. And I mean, as I said, the biggest issue on this truck is definitely suspension and such. But I wanted to take care of that so that way when we take it out on the test track, we can actually enjoy the ride a bit more. Uh, let's see here. it over here and that way go to this door oh no I can't all right fine we have to go to the air door I actually have no idea where the truck is right now I'm coming to this door so that way I can go to the uh, test track Still pretty loud. Yeah, very sloppy handling. than I think it should be. Brakes work fine, which is good. Hopefully we'll find out the other issues that the vehicle has. Oh yeah, <laughs> we found a bunch. Alright. Oh, well, we found the vehicle too, which is a good thing. Let's go ahead and move it back to the lifter. And let's go to overview mode. So we have some parts here in the back that we have to take off. Doesn't look like a ton here in the back, so let's go ahead and start with the back, and then we'll go ahead and move to the front. We are going to have to take off all four tires. Actually, I don't even know if I need to take off that tire. need to check also. That was not what I wanted. Alright. Did I find all the parts? No, I have not. I'm wondering about this back axle here. And I actually think I'm going to take it all the way off. Yeah, this looks pretty rotten. off in order to get to it, but I think it's actually a problem. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Break this out of the way.
end up actually having to split this car into two different videos. Which is not what I expected. But it actually seems like it's going to take quite a bit to repair this. Now we have to remove the drive shaft in order to get it out. Yeah, it's so long I can't even hit that side with it. Yes, that was, no, that was not that part. But actually, there are other parts that are still here that are missing as well, so, yeah, it's just, this vehicle's a mess. <laughs> okay, my best situation here is to remove all the parts here. Most of this is rusty junk. <laughs> drive shaft. Basically, I'm having to remove the entirety of this car's suspension. Even though these pieces don't have to be taken off, at this point I might as well. For one, I might have a rubber bushing here or something that needs to be taken off. And since pretty much everything else has to come off anyways, why not? Alright. So we have pretty much dripped it down to the frame. I even want to take off these rubber bushings just to make sure. have found everything there. 
we have everything there, everything there, and we already took care of those. So everything has to be at 68% or better in order for us to keep it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I think, is I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Um, this was a lot more intensive than I thought it was going to be. And I'm going to go ahead and have to put, I'm going to have to order all these parts for the vehicle. And as I said, I don't really think that's that entertaining when I have this many parts to order for you to watch me just typing in and ordering all the different parts. So with that, I'll do that off screen and then next episode we'll come back, we'll have all the parts and we'll be ready to reassemble this vehicle. So with that in mind, if you enjoyed this disassembly of the Dodge Ram here, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.